the usage of past perfect tense here marked by the helping verb had remember past perfect tense is used in a sentence when the sentence has two actions in past and one action is more in past the past perfect tense marked by the helping verb had is used with the action which is more in past but two things here number one because of this usage after it is clear that which action happened first and which action happened later so the usage of past perfect tense is not necessary as such and if at all past perfect has to be used it has to be used for the earlier of the two action this action of alexander the great asking something is the earlier of the two actions so if at all the past perfect tense should be used here and not here so answer choices which use had with the second action should be eliminated so a and d can go in choice b you see insulting here present participle remember the introduction of present participle after a comma leads to a cause effect relationship there isn't a cause effect relationship here so b is not correct choice c uses a very awkward comma then construction here this then is not needed and something like a when here will lead to a complete sentence look at choice e it correctly uses a when here and correctly skips a then here then doesn't have to be written it is implicit so c can also go let's confirm choice e when asked by someone to name his greatest desire you see this is a modifying phrase and this will refer to the noun that comes after the comma so when asked by someone to name something the revered yet eccentric philosopher diogenes famously insulted alexander and said something makes complete sense e is the correct answer choice